today's video is for complete beginners. So if you're on inlines and you're getting started and you're having some trouble, this is a very quick summary of what may help. Now I want you to remember two things, pizza and chips. Who doesn't love a bit of that? So pizza means an absolute pizza slice, which is this angle, okay? And you want that with your feet. So your heels in and your toes turned out, okay? So pizza makes you go. Chips are the parallel bit that you do once you've got a little bit of uh, momentum, okay? So you're gonna bend your knees and then you're just gonna march up and down on the spot. Do not step forward. So off we go. So you're marching up and down. So pizza, pizza, pizza. And after a few steps, cruise with both feet parallel. And again, pizza, pizza pizza, 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 and then cruise straight ahead. Okay, so just that will be enough to kind of get you some momentum. Now, things that people do wrong, if you open the pizza too much and you have a huge slice of pizza, you're gonna accelerate too much. So isn't that interesting that the amount you open your toes is actually your acceleration gauge? Yeah, and most people have no idea that that's what's happening when they suddenly start accelerating too much, okay? So any moment that you're going too fast, just get your feet parallel and then your speed will just roll out and you'll be safe. Okay, so that is the super basics very, very quickly. You may, if you're feeling pretty wobbly, you definitely should start on the grass and do some of those stepping things on the grass just so that you can feel kind of more confident with lifting your feet and putting them in those positions, all right? Let's look at a few of the other problems you might find. The next problem that people encounter is not to do with their feet, but to do with their body, right? But everything is connected. So we see most beginners, I'm just gonna exaggerate a little bit, but we see a lot of beginners in this kind of style. Now they might be doing a perfect pizza, pizza and chips, but can you see that my sort of body is hinging forwards and um, my legs are kind of straight? Okay, now this sort of position is going to give you a backache pretty quickly. Normally about 15, 20 minutes, most people will be in agony if they're doing that, right? So let me show you how your body is a system of levers. So if you just stand up straight, stand up in your chair if you're watching this at home, do this rather than just watch it. So um, body straight, leg straight, okay, this is your normal standing position. Now, just take your knees forwards. Nothing else changes. Now, some of you might have just done this. You will have also leant forwards from the waist, okay? So think of completely shoulder over hip and just the knees go down, okay? So that is the correct position. This is how we want to be skating. What most people will instantly do, and I think it's because of the gym. I think everybody's so used to doing gym squats, right? And in a gym squat, you do stick your butt out and lean forwards, but you absolutely do not want to be doing that on skates, okay? So body up, knees down, yeah? And notice what happens. If I straighten my knees, watch how my body is going to hinge forwards. So I do think that those two things happen at once, okay? So your most important thing when you start skating is to really just keep your chest up, knees down, and every step you take, your knees are going forwards, but your body remains upright, okay? So you may have your pizza and chips brilliant and your uh, body position upright and your knees down, but you may be making this classic mistake. And this is that most people, when they get on skates, they just want to take things really easy. They don't want to go too fast and it's completely understandable. But what that creates is what I call slow motion skating. And it's this, it's kind of push and pause. It's sort of these big wide, steps and everything's kind of in slow motion. Now the problem with that is um, it does make logical sense that you should slow motion in order to not go too fast but it's absolutely incorrect. If you slow motion you're spending a long time on one skate that could wobble right and then a long time on the other skate. So the opposite of that is short quick steps hardly any amount of time balancing on each foot. So look at my tempo now one and two and three and four and five. So super quick little steps is much better when you're a beginner, okay? So it's, you know, a lot of things in skating are counterintuitive, and that's why it's a good idea to get some professional instruction. So I hope these little tips helped. Um, I would like to guide you to my much more uh, in-depth beginner classes, which I have on my website. So check out skatefresh.com, online training for beginners, and just click free trial. You'll go through all of the stages that I would do with a complete beginner class um, rather than just a few minute summary okay but i hope that helps you <laughs> see you next time bye bye